Uh, I'll be I'll be talking to you to tell you a little bit what we what we are going this morning, and then after that, I'm going to be joined by the founder of Brand Africa. If you are into brands and you're in Africa and you do not know who Tebe Ikalafeng is, then there's absolutely something wrong with you. I'm so happy that uh, TBWA Paragon here in Namibia in Vinduk, was able to, to join forces with Brand Africa. Um, recently, we've had we've had uh, we've released the, the the top 100 brands in Africa. So, for those people who want to join and you have questions to ask during the proceedings, please use the following hashtags: Africa's best brands 2020 or Namibia's best brands, and uh, join the conversation. We are also live on YouTube, on Twitter, and on Facebook as well or as on. Uh, Instagram, uh, and the handle is Brand Africa. So um, I'm, I'm so happy that you, you, you could join. And uh, please, for those of you who are participating, make sure that uh, uh, your microphones are muted. In fact, we'll be muting your, your microphones during the proceedings. And we'll only probably uh, unmute them uh, later when we come through, uh, to a Q&A session. Uh, for those of you who have questions, please post your questions on the Q&A box or Q&A feature uh, down, uh, just the, down your screen. And uh, a recording will be made available for all of, those who, all of you who have participated in this. And I'm so happy to, to, to do this for Namibia. Today, for the first time, we are going to find out which are the best brands in Namibia. And I'm really, really happy for those of you who have participated, uh, who have joined in and for those for those of you um, who have joined in, please get all your questions ready. Thank you so much. Uh, in a few seconds, I'll be, I'll be joined by Mr. Brent Africa himself, Mr. Tebe Ikalafeng. Just to recap once again, we are going to talk about the methodology. You know, when we're sitting here and we're going to decide which are the best brands in Africa, there's a whole methodology behind that. Uh, Tebe is going to talk about that. Uh, it is, it, we have a very scientific approach to that. And then after that, uh, we are going to talk about the uh, Brand Africa 100 results. I think it's very important for all of you to know what are the best brands in Africa. And Tebe is going to talk to us about uh, how did they go about it, which were the best brands in Africa. There will be a lot of surprises, trust me. And then uh, I'm going to have a conversation with Tebe. This year marks the 10th anniversary of of the BA100. So Tebe is going to talk, we're going down the memory lane to talk about the BA100 is going to talk to me about that. And then later, before we conclude, I'm going to talk about the winner. I'm going to talk to the winner of the best brand in Namibia. So that is, uh, that is, our, that is our program for, for this morning. And we are really, really excited about it. So. Um, let me hand over now to, to, to Tebe. Tebe, please, uh, there's a lot of things that people can talk about. Uh, wh what, is, what is so important about brands? Brands, people say brands provide safety, brands provide peace of mind, brands provide, uh, pr pr expresses who we are. You know, they always say, it's not what, they, what we say we are, it's what they say we are. So I'll be joined by Tebe now, and uh, Tebe is going to take over and tell, talk to us about the methodology that went in deciding who is the winner this morning. And uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Tebe Ikalafe. Tebe, take it over. Hi Tebe, can you hear us? Lars, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Tebe. Uh, let me just um, start now. Here we yes. go. There's Tebe. Hi, Tebe. Can, I, I can't see myself. Can you see me? I can see you. You, you look deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Lazarus. How, how is Namibia today? Namibia is freezing. And, and they are saying the cold front is coming from South Africa, from the Western Cape. 
We apologize. We, we, <laughs> hey, we are, we are in this together. We are all Africans. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll welcome Africa, welcome Namibia. Let me talk a little bit about the methodology, how we do this, because we always get the questions, as Lazarus said, we don't sit around the table and decide um, among our friends uh, uh, who to give the best friends to. Absolutely independent. Uh, we partnered with, uh, with Geopol in 2015 or so uh, to, 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 to do this research and with Kanta in 2010. Uh, who, uh, so Geopol helps us to collect the data uh, we collect by mobile, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And Kanta helps us to sort out the data and to help to develop uh, to develop the um, uh, the rankings. So people ask, why do you do mobile? Well, mobile, we do mobile for a couple of reasons. Um, there's 747 million Africans who got a SIM card in the continent. 49% of them have got access to a basic mobile versus 33% uh, who got uh, a smartphone. And 87% of them uh, of connections in Sub-Sahara will, uh, uh, will be mobile broadband by 2025. So this is a very connected, um, uh, this is a very connected um, uh, continent. So we work with Geopro for an important reason. They've got over 250 million subscribers around the continent. They do 10 million plus interviews a year. As you can see, they cover most of the image of the of the emerge, emerging markets. So we run this. Uh, we run this the the, the the survey by SMS and mobile web. Uh, we speak to respondents who are 18 years and older. And we cover the continent. Uh, it's the largest survey on brands in continent in the in the continent. 27 countries, and those countries represent 85-80% of the population of the continent. Isn't that incredible? They also represent over 80% of the GDP of the of, of, of the continent. So what do we what do we ask them? Well, we ask them each to uh, to give us three brands, uh, three of the most uh, uh, admired brands. Uh, out of that entire survey across the continent, we get 15,000 individual brand mentions and 3,000 uh, unique uh, unique brands. So now we need to sort out all that. So Geopol gives us the, the, the data. So we need to sort out um, uh, the best 100 brands out of that. And to do that, um, we speak to Kanta. Kanta is the world's leading data insights and consulting company. They, uh, part, they pride themselves on being able to understand people. They create a weighted average uh, uh, score. Uh, which ensures that you know uh, whether a country is 1 million or 100 million or 200 million like Nigeria, we're able to compare the results of, of, of from country to country. But to make the top 100, you have to be present in more than just your country. So you can't just be uh, top 100 by just being the best in your, in, in your country. And we, we cover four, four major questions uh, that we try to separate uh, out of this. One, most admired overall, most admired African. So we wanted to ask specifically for, from an African perspective because we've got so many, uh, so, so many brands in the whole list. So we ask ourselves, what is the most admired African brand? Then what is the most admired financial services and media? We ask those two questions, particularly because a lot of times uh, media and financial services, people don't take them as brands. They just take them as, well, I need them. They need to do what they need to do to connect me. And these are some of the highlights uh, from, uh, from, uh, uh, from the survey. As we said earlier, over 15,000 brand mentions and 3,000 um, uh, unique brands. The first major insight, 13% of the brands that Africans admire, or should I say only 13% of the brands that Africans admire are African. That's a bit of a problem for us, because I think as a continent, we need to do a little better than that. 13% split across three countries only, Nigeria, South Africa, and, 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 and Kenya, as you can see with Nigeria leading. And if you look at every single country, including at the bot, uh, uh, including Namibia, which is at the bottom left there, 85% of the brands that Africans love in every country are not African. Only, on, only Zambia with Trade Kings, Zimbabwe with Econet, um, uh, and Tanzania uh, and, 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 and Tanzania with Azam have got their own brands that people admire. Even South Africa's favorite brand is only left in, in Liberia, number one in Liberia. So only four brands out of all those are, 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 are in, among the top brands. So global brands are really dominating Africa and African brands are faltering. So we got a challenge. And why are the global brands doing well? They do well because a brand like Nike, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, the number one brand in, uh, in, in the continent, dominates. They sponsor the, the most dominant uh, our, our football teams. Uh, and you can see all the sport brands actually affect the power of sports. They are between Adidas, Nike, and Puma. You can see they cover the continent. They are the religion of the continent. Where some of the interesting things we found in the survey, by the way, was uh, 
when we asked people about their brands, they then started measuring, uh, talking about Kitenge, about Kente, about Kapulana from Mozambique. Uh, but you know what's funny? None of those products or brands are actually made in, uh, are made in Africa. Most of them are made in Holland by Brisco. But uh, the reason some of these global brands are so successful in the continent is because of brands like uh, Samsung, which has managed uh, to endear itself in every single country in the continent where well, they're built for Africa initiative, creating specific products which meet African, uh, which meets African needs. Or a brand like Guinness, which is drunk more in Africa than it, it own our home country uh, in, um, uh, in Guinness. And you can see why they create a very uh, affinity with the, Af with the African, African consumer. So the other thing that we're seeing a lot is uh, how mobile has been able to advance financial access to the continent. A brand like Mpesa, for example, uh, in, uh, in Safaricom, uh, from Safaricom in Kenya, has moved financial access from 5% to 2006 to 70% in 2010. That's an incredible advancement. But you know what we're also seeing is mobile brands. They see themselves as more than just our, our telephony. They now see themselves as media brands. And what we, we, we begin to see a lot on the results this year is how a lot of the brands like MTN, like Vodafone, people are naming them as media brands as well. And they also are taking advantage of that. We don't have many cars out of Africa, but we found this quite interesting. Uh, Innocent out of Nigeria uh, supplies uh, a few uh, countries around that region has made its way into the top African brands uh, uh, overall. And you know what they say, when I get rid of foreign used cars in Africa, when I create our own, our, our, our own, our own cars. So it's quite impressive. And then you look at a brand like Jumia, e-commerce is rising. Jumia launched spectacularly in the stock, in New York Stock Exchange last year. Okay, they uh, faltered a little bit, but we are seeing a lot of brands like um, uh, we, 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 we see Alibaba and, uh, and Amazon, which have made the list this year and never were, there, were never there before. And then of course, uh, some of the brands which we grew up with um, uh, like uh, Tasca, um, brands like those have been bought by, uh, by international uh, companies. But you know, just like SAB was bought by InBev, but we still hold them dear as our own African brands. So that's why when you look at the list, we say they are African brands because they were made and created here for African consumers. And then there are rising African conglomerates. You look at a brand like Dangote, a brand like Assam. Uh, I mean, Assam does everything. Assam does television, does food, does uh, you name it. Same as Dangote, they go from oil to maize meal to cement. Uh, so, so these are, it's impressive to see uh, uh, the power of these brands in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, the, in the continent. Then of course, America dominates the list. So number one, uh, 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 it's most dominant uh, uh, throughout the 10 years of, of, of the survey in the continent. Then we ask an interesting question that you have never asked before. We ask the African consumers, what are your top three brands? What are, what, what are your most, so in, in the survey when you ask them, what are your most admired African brands? Some of them said Coke, some of them said Nike, some of them said Techno. Now, we know those are not African brands, but it's because of the power of these brands. Coca-Cola has been the continent for 90, for, uh, for, for, for 90 years. A brand like Nike associated with you, like Elliot uh, Kipchoge, who broke the sub, um, uh, the sub two, uh, two, two hour um, uh, marathon in Africa. You can see the, uh, how, how, how Nike was dominant uh, in that space. Or so they partner with something like WizKid out of, um, out of out of Nigeria uh, and creating brands or things, so the power of the influencer uh, is quite uh, is, is 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 quite interesting. Your own country, uh, you look at Mshasho. What an incredible surprise and, and performance by this brand. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you know, they've taken the power of, of, of their own personal celebrity, the power of, of music and built beyond music and say it's more than music. We can also sell products and services uh, and, and be and compete with the best brands in, uh, in the world. Then techno. I mean, techno, it's not even sold in China, but it's the dominant brand now. Uh, rising in the, in, uh, in the continent. The reason some of these brands are doing so well in the continent, they think locally and they act globally. They come up with solutions which meet locals, uh, mo local needs, but they deliver to, uh, to, a, uh, to a global standard, uh, which are uh, which are accustomed to. So what would you say are the most admired brands in Africa? So let's talk about um, uh, the most admired brands uh, in Africa. And then certainly um, what's most interesting to everybody is the most admired brands in, Nam in Namibia. Uh, itself. Number one brand in the world in, in Africa, Nike. 
Nike dominates, dominates, as we've seen in the country ranking. Uh, they are number one brand, followed by Adidas, by Samsung, Coca-Cola, Techno, Apple, MTN, Puma, Gucci. You probably said in it says Gucci, but we don't even have Gucci. The uh, uh, only one Gucci shop in South Africa, we'll talk about that later. Um, and then Etel. Um, we announced these results on Africa Day last week. There's a global list, and then we're going to move on to um, uh, the African brands as well. So what came out of this list as well, we say we also ask ourselves the question, what are the most admired brands? We asked the question on two areas. What is the most admired brand? Unprompted, where we don't tell, where we, what's the most admired brand? We don't even tell them where country comes from. When you look at that list, MTN, Dangote, Ambesa, Glow, DSTV dominate the list. When you ask them the question, ask the question, what is your most admired African brand? The roles are reversed. They're like, oh, African. Oh, you talk about Dangote. MTN, DSTV, Andesa, and Assam. So quite interesting that uh, when you when you prompt them for for the continent, the results are different to when you just ask them generally what your most admired brand. If ask the same questions of Namibia, uh, and we'll do that in, in a minute. As I've said, uh, brands like Amazon and Alibaba uh, shows where we are now. We're living in the digital uh, era, and that's what they hear. By the way, Alibaba is number ninety-two. They don't even sell in. They don't even in Africa yet. The only thing they do, they sponsor an entrepreneurship. Um, entrepreneurship of our price. So you can see what the work of, of, of Jack Ma has been. Uh, very soon to be easy for him to enter the continent as Africans admire, uh, admire, admire the brand. And Ford, after a terrible uh, PR, uh, uh, PR uh, episode, are back uh, at number 55 on the list. And then Dolce, like it is everywhere else in the world, nobody cares about Dolce anymore. Not so cool as it used to be uh, anymore. Lost 38 points. Danone on the bounce. Acquisitions, sponsoring events, number thirty on the on the African list. So then we ask the questions about most admired financial services brand. Um, in the top 25, 72 percent are in Africa, and sixteen percent, as I said earlier, are in are in mobile. Uh, you can see across the continent from GT, Air, uh, First Bank, Echo, UBA, and APSA and FNB. So keep your mind on these as you see them uh, in terms of how they are uh, uh, in, in the continent. Then we look at media. Uh, from a media perspective, 76% are non-African. Number one, BBC. You know, the World Service, of, uh, of, uh, our World Service um, uh, uh, offering has been quite phenomenal in the continent. The DST, of course, make it easy for all of us to access this. And then CNN, of course, is always there and out and, and, and Al, Al Jazeera. Let's talk Namibia. So how do we, how do we now perform in Namibia? So we then did a special survey focusing just on Namibia. What did we find out about Namibia? Number three, most admired brand in Namibia, Apple. Number two, most admired brand in Namibia, Adidas. The number one most admired brand. I'm still general, I'm just asking a general question. I didn't say Namibian brand. Most admired brand in Namibia, Nike. As it is in the world, in the continent, in the world, in Namibia, the number one overall most admired brand is uh, Nike. Nike is I think we've spoken about the performance of, of, of Nike and why it dominates so much. But when you look at the top 10, MTC and Mshasho, two Namibian brands, MTC leads as the most admired African brand um, uh, in, uh, in Namibia when you don't mention, when you don't ask, when you don't prompt them. So spontaneously, Namibians are saying MTC. Spontaneously. But don't say the best Namibian brand, just say the best brand in Namibia. Spontaneously, MTC number one, and then Mshasho. What a performance. I mean, for a hip hop uh, brand to have uh, done so phenomenal, uh, challenging some of these, um, some of these, uh, these brands. Um, the most admired Namibian brand, number one, top score. That mini meal is working, is working magic in, uh, in Namibia. And then Shasho, as I've said, and the most admired Namibian brand is MTC. Phenomenal. I think MTC is the most dominant brand in the uh, in Namibia, and um, and wherever you get off the air, you get off the aeroplane, you move around Namibia. It is the it is the brand that helps you to make uh, the connection across 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 Namibia. Phenomenal performance uh, by an uh, by a Namibian brand. It's the most dominant brand there, and. Um, I must be honest, I was a bit surprised. I was a bit surprised because I was expecting Vintuk and I don't even drink, but I thought Vintuk, I said, 
the brain is named after the city. It must be number one. And then Ventube is only coming at number seven. So the top 10 brands in Namibia, MTC, Shasho, Topsco, GMP. Look at GMP. Like Shasho, a hip hop brand that's doing amazingly. Telecom, Starwa brand, Venthook, Namilk, and then, uh, uh, and then to close the list, uh, Namib, uh, uh, Namib Mills. The, so then we then ask the question, what are the most admired African brands? Then they said, oh, African. No, that will be MTN, that will be DSTV. So right now we are being specific. They said, you must be talking about Mshasho. So how interesting is this? So now we are being, now we are prompting them, we're asking them the question, the African brand. They're like, ah, Mshasho, that is an African brand, uh, number one um, in Namibia. And you can see the list, um, Mshasho, MTN, DSTV, went to MTC. Um, uh, and Nishirongo and uh, Namib, uh, Tafel and Okomo and Amaruna. Then we ask the media, They're like media, can it be CNN, can it be NBC? Do you know, local broadcasters are quite powerful, but they said the number one media brand, DSTV. So because of DSTV, I can see everything else. So the top, uh, the most admired media brands, um, the top 10, DSTV, NBC, CNN, Netflix. How is that? Netflix. Look at that. Instagram. How is that? Digital brands are, are making are, are, are beginning to dominate. And oh, uh, and, uh, uh, and and what is interesting is you notice how uh, MTC. They say no, MTC is a media brand. Yeah, I expect to see news there. I expect to hear um, uh, them reporting to watch my weather, uh, to find out what's happening in the world. MTC is a media brand. So that's quite interesting uh, in terms of that whole list um, uh, in, 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 uh, in, um, in uh, maybe how people look to MTC uh, for their, as a source of news. So most admired financial services brand in Namibia, or mutual number three, Bank number two, number one, f and FNB number one. So quite interesting as well uh, in terms of uh, the power of these brands and how long they've been around uh, in, 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 the, in the country. So the top 10, as you can see there, a uh, lot of insurance companies, Outsurance, Sunlam, King Price. Uh, I was quite in, I was quite all mutual. I was quite surprised to see that. Uh, this is the most um, insurance uh, 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 brands I've seen uh, anywhere, anywhere else in the list. Most admired listed brands. So we also look at the uh, we look at the, the top performing brand that is listed, uh, and that brand um, in, in in Namibia is um, Namibia Brewers Limited. So in summary, this is your summary: the number one brand overall, Nike. Most Afri most admired African across the continent, Bangote. Across the continent, MTN. Across the continent, BBC. Most admired Namibian brand, MTC. Most admired is the highest ranking uh, African brand uh, spontaneous, which is quite a desirable uh, positioning to have because it means you don't have to prompt them. Uh, but also when you prompt them, number one, it's, it comes up as a number one list in the, in, in the country. Um, Nike, uh, most admired brand in Namibia. Mishasho, African brand, if you, if, you, if you prompt them, DSTV, FNB, most admired listed brand, um, uh, um, Namibia Brewers Limited, and uh, Nigeria Dangote and uh, Kenya uh, Safari Co. That, in a nutshell, last is the list from, uh, is the list, um, uh, from, uh, from Namibia. So a, a, a few surprises for me, uh, but, um, uh, you know, I was, as I said earlier, I was expecting to see a bit of, um, I was expecting to see uh, a Ventuk, uh, Tafel, and all those brands, and I didn't see any of those. And but then I don't drink, so I didn't invest much. So Lars, that's your list. That's your country. Are you? Were you surprised? I am. Uh, can you hear me, Timmy? Yes. I'm shocked. Oh. <laughs> I am, why are you shocked? I am shocked? And I'll, I'll tell you why I'm shocked, Timmy. Um, during the lockdown. Yes. One of the that people are complaining about is the sale of alcohol. <laughs> so I would have honestly thought that the alcohol brands will do much better than that. But they weren't drinking. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were locked out. They couldn't right. drink, they couldn't smoke. <laughs> but, 
but you know what is amazing is uh, some of the brands that you have mentioned, like Obishasho, JMP, Chicago Leather, and so on, which are Namibian brands. I am so proud of how well they did. And, 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 and if you look at Omshasho and you look at uh, GMP, these are brands that were started by this gentleman. And I think they are even below the age of 45. So they have started these brands from nothing and, and the, how they have grown it to, into apparel, into mobile, into water, even on things like that. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, uh, to me, it's actually a good thing because what it says, it says uh, we've got the talent, it says we've got the talent in the country. And it also says, because you know, when you think about brands, sometimes we always think about, because it takes a long time to build a great brand. So that's why, that's why it's good when you see Telecom, you yeah. see Telecom, you see Tafel, you see Burnt, you're not really surprised, right? Because those are the big guns. They've right. got big budgets, they've got right. our, our, our MTC, they've got, I've got the reach. But when you see Shasho, it says, um, but you know, it also speaks to the to the millennials who are much more who, who change brands very quickly if you don't do your job. So these guys, right. uh, GMPs and uh, Shasho, uh, they are quite connected with their with their target market. So right. they seem a bit of a, a rockers there. Just a, just a couple of uh, things I want to because uh, I've been taking notes when you were making this presentation. Uh, Nike didn't really surprise me. Because Nike, what is it about Nike that makes them so dominant in Africa, Tebe? It's even in Namibia. You know, last, they sponsor the biggest teams, generally. They sponsor the best athletes. It's the most inspirational brand. They sponsor the best athletes. Um, and, um, and they are consistent. And they're consistently so. I think from a product level, they do a great job from a product. Uh, from being fresh, all constant. But also, they also fight the battles of athletes. I mean, whether you know whether it's Casta Semenya here in Africa, Kasta, and, uh, yeah. correct. Uh, and then, of course, they also uh, and they always they always at the right time with the right athlete. Uh, and in Africa, you know, if you look at Elliot, they never left Tiger Woods. Are you with me? So I think that's why they stay at yeah. the top. Right. So let, let let me let me get dig into now this num the the actual homegrown brands. Uh, Nam milk. I thought they would do a little bit better than that. It's a milk, it's a milk brand. Uh, and uh, I was actually also surprised by, although they are in the top 10 by Telecom, I would have thought that Telecom will come just after MTC. What interesting. And Namibian brands. Interesting, but you know, um, the Telecom brands in general, because it's a parastatal, I mean, MTC also is owned part, partly by government, right? But, um, yeah. but, but, but the telecoms of the world are known to be very government and people don't, or parastatal, and people don't give parastatal brands or SOEs right. much credit. They like it's right. my money, it's my tax money. You better, uh, you better connect me. Uh, but they expect more of the of the brands like the MTCs, which are a bit more private sector style. So I think that's why maybe right. MTC does well, but a telecom will not do well, as well. Tebe, do you know what is the most beautiful thing that you did in this presentation? You know when you put up the Omshasho logo, yes, with two on it. Uh, it's branded on the shoe. Do you know whose shoe that is? Who's that's Chicago leather, and they are also in the top ten. So yes, they, they had wow. a collaboration. Wow! They had a collaboration where Shasho joined forces with Chicago leather, and they came up with the Omshasho shoe. Wow. wow! And that is that is me. I, I actually got goosebumps when I saw that. Wow! Wow! Awesomeness. No, that's awesome, last. Uh, really, I mean, I must be honest. I was absolutely chuffed and excited by by the uh, to see the list in Namibia, because uh, you know, there's also there's also that thing of thinking because Namibia is so close, so contiguous to South Africa. You think you'll see just South African brands. So the fact that Namibian brands are were performing so strongly is a good thing. It speaks to the importance that I always tell people that it doesn't matter whether a country is five five hundred people or fifty million people. The countries are different. And, um, and uh, they've got their own different cultures, own different needs, own different um, uh, uh, cultures and heritages, and you see that. And that's why you're, that's why the brands which are doing well in, in, in Namibia are Namibian Nam 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 brands. Mm -hmm. Is it, uh, the, uh, and I'll, uh, we will hopefully, because I see they are connected, we, 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 we called a couple of uh, the people who uh, we called, I mean, we contacted all the, the people who were in the top 10, 
And uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna get hold of uh, MTC, probably Tim, since they are the winners, congratulations to them. The MTC from a personal point of view and from a, a marketing point of view, they didn't surprise me much because MTC is really a dominant brand in Namibia. I mean, for you, you are an African, you have visited this country so many times. Tell us your experience with MTC from a visitor's point of view in Namibia. Well, you know, when you get off the when you get off the when you get off the, the aeroplane uh, into the airports in um, uh, in in, uh, in in Namibia, it is the first brand that you are going to connect with from a, from a connectivity perspective, and then in terms of accessibility, because you see, brands must do something well. First, they must be clear. You must know what they stand for, who they are. Uh, second, they must be uh, consistent, and third, they must be accessible. And MTC does all those, and that's been my experience with them. Uh, that's why when I'm in Namibia, I use MTC. Uh, because it is better connection, uh, it is accessible, uh, and they're consistent, and that's been my experience with it, uh, with, uh, with the brand. You know, the, the amazing thing is, before we go to the next thing, it's uh, MTC, it, as, long, as soon as you get off the airplane, even when you're filling the immigration forms, it's yes. branded MTC. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. They've got an unfair, can, they've got and an, then, they've got an unfair advantage. Exactly, and then and then when you when you get into the airport building, MTC welcomes you to Namibia. Yes, <laughs> yes that's true. That's so, how you but, build a brand. But, but, that's, I, 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 that's why I say you must be visible and accessible. And that's what they do well as well. Yeah. And uh, look, uh, just finally before, because I'll, I'll try our best to connect now with, with Tim uh, from MTC so I can talk to him about it. For I the see, people I see who are- connected him already for you. So uh, these techniques are awesome. They've got Tim okay, waiting yeah, for you. Me. Yes, okay. Just I'm ready to go. Question. Okay, <laughs> just, just briefly, Tebe, for the guy who's sitting at home, uh, who's, who's got a belt that they have, a brand they have started, quickly, what would you tell them? What must they do to get onto this list? Next year. To get onto that list? Um, yeah. Yeah. One, they must be, they must have a very, very uh, available proposition, something that they must be different from everybody else. Uh, they must be relevant okay. and, and they must be patient because you have to be patient. And patience, of course, patience in the digital era could be two weeks. <laughs> so, a patient oh, the, <laughs> so, but you must be patient. And, but most, most importantly, and then you must invest in it. You must invest in it. Tebe, well, thank you so much. Uh, this is amazing. This is great for Namibia. This is great for Africa. I can't wait to share. I mean, for those people who are participating, obviously, they started sharing already. I can't wait to share this on, on all our social media platforms. I'm sure it's going to cause a lot of conversation. But we have, we have Tim on the line. I can see Tim. I can see Tim is on the line. Thank Tebe, you, let me say thank you for now, and then I'll, 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 I'll come back to you later. Thank you, Lars. Tim, can you hear us? Hi, Tim. Well, we are trying to, we are, we are trying to, to, to uh, we're trying to connect to Tim. Tim, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can you hear me, Lars? Yes. Uh, can you see me? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Tim, congratulations. You are now looking at <laughs> Sorry, you, you broke up there. I, I'm not looking at. I, I, I'm saying you're now looking at the most admirable brand in Namibia. It's official, finally. It's official. Well, it's not you, yeah. Tim, the brand. No, it's not me. It's <laughs> MPC. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I am so, I'm so happy for you. Uh, it didn't come as a surprise for me, um, but I am so happy that in a, for our inaugural uh Brand 100, including Na Namibia, BA, Brand Africa 100, including Namibia, you came up tops and you are a truly admired and loved brand in Namibia. Yeah, no, it, it, it's quite a to the conversation between you and Tebe. And um, we, we, we are not surprised. Uh, it's, it's something that we, we, you know, when we started this brand 25 years ago, it's also our 25th. And when we started this brand, we, we knew we just didn't want to start a company. The telecom wanted to start uh, a brand 
right now. So every time people talk about Namibia, they must talk about MTC. They must talk about this incredibly, and that is always what we wanted to achieve. And, and, and it's important that we, that we got ourselves to admire our own brand. And that's why we, we're not surprised because our, our, it starts with them admiring the brand. Uh, because at the end of the day, branding is an experience with customers. Because remember, it's not about your own brand, it's whether they admire it. And it's, it's what they tell other people about your brand. And, and, and it's about living an experience. And it is through your staff members, which we call MTC ambassadors. We don't lose ambassadors that deliver that experience. So if they do not believe in that brand, um, that experience will not be there. And, and that's why I'm saying I'm not surprised, uh, but we are extremely honored. And we would like to thank the Namibian people for, for agreeing with us. Uh, Tim, uh, let me talk you through that because you, 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 I'm sure you heard me talking to Tebe as a, as a visitor to our country and his experience with your brand. And like I said, from the immigration forms to when you get into the airport, when you go to the, <laughs> to the carousel where you pick up your luggage and so on. And even just the billboards as you enter the city. Uh, is it is just a matter of outspending other people in order to make your brand visible or is there an, another strategy for that? It's just a matter of, oh, MTC has got hundreds of millions of dollars to spend. That's why we are not surprised. Or is there a method to, to, the, to this whole thing? And if there is, can you share it with other people? You see, you see, that's that's why people and building credible brands are concerned. It's not just about your logo. It's not just about you know getting off the airport and you seeing empty seat. Um, it's it's way more than that uh, than what you see. It's and I, and I think the 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 sweet spot is about delivering excellent customer experience. It's about, it's about being consistent. Uh, that, that say things and then they, they never deliver. So it, it's really about being consistent. It's about knowing who you are as a brand and about your own brand. And, and, and at the end of the day, it all comes down to delivering an experience, an exceptional experience that people are going to remember for the rest of their lives. So it's more than just branding. We are in this position not because of budget, but it's about the architecture of our brand, believing in our own brand and making sure that we get others to Hi Tim, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. No, Tim, uh, once again, congratulations and and I hope you're gonna make your way to my office to come and collect your, your, your award. And uh, like I said, we are very, very proud of MTC. We are, <laughs> we are proud of all Namibian homegrown Namibian brands. That, that's uh, one final message that you would like to, to share with your competitors or with the, or other Namibian brands. Oh, before you answer that question, just a quick one. Are you surprised about Omshashua GMP and Chicago Leather? Or did you did you scam, somehow accept? Uh, I am I am not surprised. Uh, I know how branding operates. If you don't make an effort, if you don't work on your brand, if you don't have a brand strategy, um, you, you you might be the most powerful in terms of budget. But if you do not have a strategy, uh, your your brand is going to to stagnate. And 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 I'm so so glad to see GMP, Mshasho, Namib. And these are people that have really put in a, a, an effort to ensure that their brands are out. So congratulations to them. No, oh, Tim, thank you so, so much. And hopefully I'll be seeing you shortly so that I can give you your certificate. Thank, thank you, you so much, much, Tim. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. With, there was uh, Tim Ekanjo. Um, who, who can introduce him? I mean, he's from MTC, everybody knows. MTC, you think about him, you think about MTC and, and the other way around. That is the power of branding and I want to congratulate. Uh, Tebe, I don't know if Tebe is still online because I, I would have thought that, uh, I thought maybe 
I see people posted a few questions here. Um, if, if, if we can ask a few questions, uh, but uh, you know, Tebe is very, very uh, busy. So if, I mean, uh, uh, Tebe, so if he's gone, it's fine. But he ever, he has, if he hasn't gone, uh, if we can get him back on the line um, and he can answer a few questions. But uh, this is, for those of you who have tuned in, this is what this is all about. For the first time in 10 years, we included in a brand survey, uh, we included Namibia in a brand survey and these Namibian brands, which performed so exceptionally well, congratulations. I'm sure Gaza and uh, the dog and uh, maybe Shikongo, the, Shiko uh, the Shikongo family from Shikongo leather. And also we shouldn't forget about uh, Namibia breweries and uh, Nam Milk and so on. Well, their own L group because their brands performed exceptionally, exceptionally well. Uh, well, I, I, I see that we will not have time for, for the Q&A session, but let me take this opportunity to thank all of you who have connected. Thank you so, so much. Um, and uh, we will see you next year, this time again. From me, Lazarus from TVWA Paragon here in Vendok, Namibia. And, and I'm sure if, uh, I'm speaking for Tebe as well and his, uh, and his team in Brand Africa in Jobek. Thank you so, so much. Africa is on the march. We are here promoting our own brands. We are here selling our own brands and we are here creating our own brands from all of us here in Vendok, Namibia. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next year.